marching to nowhere forever. A royal aircraft glinting in the sunshine on a flight to the capital of Ethiopia. And this is a glimpse of what Addis Ababa is like today, the centre of the town where streets named Eden and Churchill converge. The Haile Selassie Theatre. And as if to guard it, a rather magnificent lion. On arrival, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester were welcomed by the Crown Prince and Crown Princess. After the warm exchange of greetings, the Guard of Honour, mounted by troops of the Imperial Army, was inspected. Now to the Imperial Palace. On guard here is a real lion, the Emperor's pet, Tojo. Soon after their arrival in Addis Ababa, the Duke and Duchess drove to the palace to be greeted by their host, the Empress, and members of their family and court. Friendship between Britain and Ethiopia is firmly established. In confirmation of it, the Duke presented a letter from the Queen expressing her admiration for Ethiopia's progress. An impressive building named the Jubilee Palace is maintained for the use of distinguished visitors to the country. It was here that the Duke and Duchess were residing during their stay. State program opened with a reception and banquet given by the Emperor. Mr. Geoffrey Furlong, the British ambassador, and his wife were among the many distinguished British and Ethiopian guests. An auspicious beginning to the royal visit, maintaining the tradition of friendship between the two nations. <laughs> 